Hello everyone, it's John and what we're doing right now is we're going to log into my switch. Within my switch, I'm going to set up the VLAN ID for 20 to be on port 8. So what that will do is that will send the information from my router to my switch to the EXXI host that I currently have on the network and that will allow it to send any tags with the VLAN of 20. Uh, it will send it all to the EXXI host based off the, uh, the switch configuration. So what we'll do is we'll log in. Once we're in, we're using the uh, TP-Link TL-SG-108E. It's a really cheap switch, easy to use. Uh, I, I like it a lot. It's, uh, you can get them for about 30 bucks on Amazon. So we'll go to VLANs, and then we're going to go to the 802.1q.vlan. Once we're here, you'll see that I already have uh, the one, the port A already set up on a, on a port. So what I want to do is let's we'll type in, well, let's delete this one first. We'll type in 10 up here. And then we're going to want to remove port 8 as a not member, right? So now we'll click add modify. Now we'll type in 20. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to tag port 1, untag port 8, add modify, and that sets up our VLAN 20. So when I set up the development network, it will see that the VLAN 20 is on port 8 and send that traffic up to uh, the ESXi host because port 8 is plugged into ESXi. So now what we're going to do is go to the ASO2.1q.pvid settings, and then on port 8, we're going to swap it from 10 to 20, apply and now in theory this is all working I still have a little bit to do I've got to go set up the firewall which we'll do that in another video and uh, just kind of show you how you set it up on on the firewall side uh, through PF sense and then we'll test to make it sure that everything's working well thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one